Moving forward, it's about the future. And now, a special sneak peek of The Hills' new beginnings. This right here, that's just growing pains. There ain't much to figure out when you're stuck in your old ways. You can't let them drag you down. Cause when it's up in the seasons, changing lives. Oh, who's this little guy, Shuey? This is Dad. Who's this little guy? Get him. Kill him. Kill him. Go, go. Kill him. What's going down? You look good. I thought we were going to go hiking. Really? You dress you like you're going to the club. Yeah, I'm not, going. Know, maybe not the I'm, not, club, I'm not going hiking. Caitlin and I, I think our relationship ran its course. After we had our split, it was obviously tough for both of us. She got into a relationship with somebody, and you know, I didn't find out until I saw it in the press. Okay. Come here, Dash. But after some time had passed, I realized this is where our lives are going. We're gonna be separated and we're not gonna be together, but let's let's still be in each other's lives and let's still maintain a friendship and a love. Uh, and we've been able to do that. The party was actually really fun the other night. It was nice to see everyone. And like one of the things that I appreciated so much about you saying that, like apologizing the other night was that I feel like throughout the course of our breakup, there's been so much speculation about like why we broke up and we've never, talked about it publicly other than just like, you know, we weren't lining up, things weren't the right. And granted, you drinking was not the only reason. Right. But I just appreciated when you like said that the other night and just took some like responsibility yeah, because in front of everyone, because I think it's like, well, I think when okay, you, when you're cool, still drinking, you're in denial. People. I think you're in denial. Yeah. I think that there were certain things in our marriage that were also driving me to drink more than normal, honestly. Like the pressure of having kids and stuff like that. And so I honestly think that that was weighing on me heavily and it was and it was causing me to drink unhealthy amounts. Mm -hmm. I think that Brody likes to use me pressuring him as like a little bit of a scapegoat for his drinking. And I think I would find what Brody's saying more hurtful if I didn't understand that he really did love me and love our relationship and I think he was committing to having kids and getting married because he didn't want me to go anywhere. The circumstances of what happened after our split catered to that negative mm -hmm. You know, the whole like lesbian thing was gnarly. Cause like in our entire relationship, you never expressed that you had any interest in females whatsoever. I don't think that's totally fair, true to say. We had some fun, but what I'm yeah. saying is like, yes, but you, uh, <laughs> but you, but why do you, yeah, but you said to me that you weren't into girls. Well, I think I had never just met somebody that I was into. Right, like, but it was a shock for me. And I think for a lot of people that saw that, Moving forward, it's about the future. I've heard a lot of people that I love, and that's not the Brody I want to be. I thought we were getting more serious about trying to get pregnant. Brody and I, we did kiss. I don't want to hurt people along the way. You're the same weirdo! Oh, oh. Don't miss the premiere of The Hills New Beginnings, Wednesday, May 12th at 9 on MTV. Cheers! Viva la Hollywood! Betrayed you. Well, maybe I was really hurt by you, bro. You're trying to make me look bad. Stephanie, get out of here.